Hello, baby gangsters. This is Calvin, also known as Romer, and this is Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. This is my first time playthrough of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair, and I guess this result isn't all that exciting. We're gonna get to cast a vote here. Who will be chosen as the black in Me. Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong one? Please pull the lever. Lever. Crap! I bit my tongue at the most. That's the worst, Monokuma, isn't it? It's the worst. I will also, through this episode, be addressing some, uh, some things from the playthrough, from the entire playthrough, uh, because, you know, I like this to be a community-based, uh, channel, uh, but I feel like some people, when I give that inch, take the mile, so we're gonna talk about that, and it's the last time we're talking about it. It'd be bad if I bit my tongue again, so I'll speak slowly. Judging from the results, you guys are cracked again! Getting four in a row without any mistakes is a splendid achievement. It feels like more than four. This feels like way more than four. <laughs> more than four people have died, but you know what I mean. Way more than four trials. That's right, the one who killed the robotic Mechamaru in the, ama the amazing funhouse yeah! was Gundam Tanaka. Nice! Yay, I said all of that without biting my tongue. Now, then. now that we've decided the killer is, let's do the execution already and get it over with. Oh yeah, you'd like that, wouldn't you? Hold on. It's true the class trial is finished, but that doesn't mean the incident is over. We can't finish yet unless we hear from Gundam. Jeez. No matter what he says, he won't change a thing. Well, I've no right to stop you either, so do whatever you like. Fall, my tears. Why do you want to talk to the one who was lost? The loser merely leaves. It would thus be unnecessary for me to say something. Listen well. Is what I would like to say, but for honor's sake, I shall correct one thing. Correct. How pitiful. You see, that guy said I made Nikamaru powerless without fighting him. That, however, is a great mistake. Huh? Fine. Nikamaru did fight. That is no mistake. And because he fought, he lost and died. D damn it! Lost and died? This too. If he was just trying to cling to life, there are many out. ways. He could have done so. However, he did not allow that. You. What do you mean? Explain. <laughs> Fine, then I shall reveal it all. Let's make history. Within the final dead room, I discovered the secret of the funhouse, and I devised a killing plan utilizing that secret. By tampering with all the clocks in the building, I succeeded in lowering Nekomaro to the tower. And this is what happened. Whoa, look at this. Nekomaro and I were alone in the tower, standing face to face with one another. Hmm, I should say I expected as much from Nekomaru. He sensed my subtle killing intent and instantly understood the situation. And we had ourselves a stare down. In that situation, if he wanted to run away, it would have been easy for him to do so. He could have run away or even called for help. But he did not turn his back to me. Instead, he chose to fight. That, a fight that risked his life and death. That is... A fight that risked life and death? Let me tell you he was serious this. too. He gave it his all to try and kill me. Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? If he had died instead, the mystery surrounding this case would be more complicated. You would never know why I, the victim, went to the tower by myself. The victim? I can see it! Nobody would know that the victim, me, was actually the one who planned the whole thing. Could it be? Mechamar already did that? Wait, what? Sensing even my subtle killing intent. As expected of you, Nekomaru. Wait, what? The scorching, stinging, tense atmosphere. I've been a team manager for so long, I'd nearly forgotten this. This is great! What a comforting atmosphere! Hmm, that's a great line. And what is your reason? Do you intend to resolve this situation by killing me? He probably does. <laughs> I am the warlock, Gundam Tanaka. Heroes, lords of darkness, and even the gods themselves flee from me. I do not cling to any trivial reason. I'm simply going to kill you because your very existence is an annoyance. <laughs> You'll drench your soul with evil until the bitter end, huh? Splendid! In response to your spirit, I shall kill you with all of my might. I won't go easy on you. Don't even think about holding back. Don't waste your breath on cowardly tactics. Give me everything you got! This is like the most anime thing that's happening in the game, and we have seen girls fall over and show their underwear to the camera. Nekomoro Nidai, your blood will drench the foundation of my empire! 
That is... Why did you fight? We're all friends. Why couldn't you stop this? Even if both sides agree, it was still wrong. <laughs> I will not argue. I have no intention of forcing my values upon you. you However, I must say this. What's the point of living if you're just waiting until you finally die? You weak There's no... Nothing courageous about that. That is abandonment, a mere feeling of resignation. Are you telling us we just, uh, just to wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than our friends kill each other. Oh, that was us saying that. Do you mean you'd rather die? Fall, Ever since we are locked inside that building, everyone had been dominated by the feeling of abandonment. However, nothing is born from resignation. That is a simply a reason to give up. If you flinch, you will Giving die. up on life, that's just an insult to life itself. Let me ask. Have you fools heard of the term dog eat dog? Yes, cannabis Um Cannibalism? Fine. In zoology, cannibalism is a commonly observed phenomenon. Many creatures at some point in their lifespan engage in cannibalism. Listen, that well. is what it's meant to live. If you say killing for the sake of killing is evil, then what would you call giving up on life itself? I shall engulf If a world would consider the justice, then I will fight that world with every last fiber of my being. Giving up on life and choosing death is nothing but a blasphemy towards life. I it is a you. violation of the natural order. It is the arrogance of humanity. You. You're saying all this just to justify what you did? But... But it sounds like Nikamara felt the same too. That's why they fought, right? Damn it. Ugh. Fine. That man had the courage to die when he needed to die. That is why he challenged me to a battle. <laughs> Regardless, as I've already said, I do not intend to force my values upon you fools. I have betrayed you all. That is the absolute truth. Fall, but even I... so, don't you think it's a better alternative to slowly starving to death here? Oh. That belief is why you committed your crime. I mean, like, I think that, like, having that spirit, like, I don't know what I would do in that situation. That's the problem. Um... I think everyone in this game is very quick to kill, but then again, I don't judge them because, like, we're not in their situation. We're just not. And it's so easy to judge from the outside uh, how a killing would happen or how anyone would kill or the way they kill people. Um, yeah. yeah. I don't know. It just, it's very easy to judge. Hey, what about the final dead room? Did you do the Russian roulette too? Let's make history. Allowing Nagito, I only did it once, but <laughs> compared to my battle with Nekamaro, that was a mere child's play. Well... You know, after listening to you talk for a while, I'm starting to think that, well, it's also because you unexpectedly admitted your crime without much resistance. Don't, don't tell me you you didn't sacrifice yourself for our sake, did you? <laughs> I can't believe you would ask such a foolish question. Just who do you think Gundam I am? Tanaka. I am Gundam Tanaka, history's greatest monster. My cursed existence is feared by all mankind. There's no way I'd sacrifice myself for the sake of you fools. Fade like dust in the wind. Not in a million, not in a billion, not in ten thousand billion years. The name of pandano pandemonium is, an, is, it is impossible. Is that it? Then I'll just leave it at that. <laughs> now then, let us be rid of this foolish talk. It's about time the fun started. <laughs> Monokuma, let us begin. Yes, indeed. Oh, God. I don't want... Like anyone to die. <laughs> I really don't like and I know I joked about like how like I mean maybe Teru Teru, but like I'd like I just don't because he's evil. I don't know. I don't um I don't really want anyone to die. Please wait. This is just too much. Canonically evil. Looks at the camera if there was a camera. Please Monaco, please help Gundam. Huh? Miss Sonya Please I beg of you. Oh yeah she she of course they were they were really good friends. They were good pals. They're like brother and sister. As an act of unrefi unrefined of stopping a man from going to his death, does not befit such noble such as yourself. Uh, Gundam. Hmm. It's fine to start for reals, right? Fine. Yes, I do not mind. However, what is it? My what is? Oh no! Destruction. No! Are you worried about me? Oh my! Oh! Poor dark devas of destruction. Oh no! That is not like you at all. No! 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 You do not get to do this to me at all. However, there is no need to fear. In this world, I am only a temporary visitor. Jesus Christ. I was simply visiting for a moment, and now that my duty is complete, I must return to the darkness. Now that your duty is complete. That's such an incredible way of looking at it as well, though being a visitor to this world. I feel like you would live your life a lot more pleasantly. I feel like you'd be more polite to people. I feel like you'd be... 
you know, more energetic about what you do in your life, you'd probably say yes to more new experiences in that way. And I think Gundam being so eccentric and being himself has a lot to do with that. The idea that, like, um, you know, we know we're not here for the rest of, you know, we're here not here for a sh short time. We're not here for a long time. We're here for a good time. Um, maybe more people would be themselves. Like, if you knew you had, in his case, well, like 20, 19, 18 years to live, not that he knew that, but if you lived in that context, you would do whatever the frick you wanted. You really would. And I admire Gundam for that because he is himself. In the end, he is himself. He is Gundam Tanaka. And those four Dark Davis are certain. Can I take care of them for you? Because, like, the idea of them dying as well. But then again, it's like them missing you is going to be horrific. That is why, until the very end, pride, conceit, courage, insolence, fearful of nothing, daunted by nothing. There you go. Let us laugh uproariously. <laughs> That is Gundam Tanaka! I shall stick with my evil until the very end! Open Sesame Pandemonium! I shall fill hell with true hell! That's awesome. That's just freaking awesome. <laughs> really awesome moment. Let's give it everything we've got. It's punishment time. Like that's who he is. He's he is himself. And now we have to see this horrible punishment. The punishments haven't been as gruesome in some cases, and in other cases they've been absolutely gruesome, so it's like... What is this, a wild... Oh god, it's a stampede of like a bunch of different animals. Gun and Tanaka Stampede, ultimate breeder. Oh, because he's a breeder? This is so stupid. Don't do this to him. No! Gundam! No, no, the fork Dark Davis! Oh, he left him behind! No! Oh, that's depressing. So freaking cool. <laughs> He's so cool. Oh my god. At least the, the Davis will just survive. What the? Oh, we still died. Oh, we left the Davis. Oh my god. Oh no! How dare this game! Oh my god! Oh my... Is that all the animals that he's taken care of like through his life? Because this is so sad. Oh my god, the reference as well. That's too- that's the saddest death we've ever had! God damn! No! I agree, no! Yeah, it's a t- even after Gundam is gone, the spirit of his parting words still linger deep in our chest. Don't give up on life. Did I misunderstand what he meant? Then what's the right thing to do? I don't know. No matter how much you think about it, I don't know if I'll ever be able to answer that. Damn it. Damn it! I'm so pissed off, I need to throw something. D damn it! You all spend so much time worrying about each other, and thanks to that, things end up like this. You're all full of shit, every last one of you. But the biggest piece of shit is me. Worst. Damn, why am I so weak? Oh. I'm such a downer, clearly. But still, even though we feel this way, we still gotta do our very best. You are right. You are right. This time around, we must move forward. We must continue to live on be uh, and believe in our friends. If not... You are right. God must luckily crawl his way out of hell and pre presumably be very cross with us. That's all. It's so, yeah. You're right. You're right. We shouldn't stand here. I mean, it's not like this is over. We still have to do it. There's still a bunch of us left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of us left. We still have to finish this. For the sake of our friends who have died, we need to finish this once and for all. So, don't just stand there. Stand up and walk. Move forward. Live. If you don't, everyone who fought and died will have died in vain. We can't allow that. Hey! Hey! 
So you guys guys gonna stand around chattering. The class trial is over, so it's okay for you to hurry back to Jabberwock Island. <laughs> However, the killing school should proceed as usual, so make sure you know that. We're just right back to Jabberwock Island. How much longer are you gonna keep doing this? You you were the reason we were here as well, Asami, so don't you know, don't don't start. Don't start. So how long is he gonna keep doing this? How long is it gonna continue? He wants to continue until there's one of us left. Now then. <laughs> Oh, after feeling down for so long, I finally feel refreshed. Let's hurry back and eat some food. Hey, hey. Hold on a sec, that mooch is too damn fast. It's not like that. Well, you know, it's Gundam and Nekamaru said. <laughs> That's what it's meant to live, right? <laughs> She's uh, certainly something else. <laughs> well, seriously, I'm starving. It makes sense that she would feel the, like, words that they said more than anyone else. Hey, hey. Then let's go back for now and eat. And then, after we're full, let's sleep as much as we want. Right? And then let's do our best again. Yeah, you're right. Is all too much. With this, the class trial has come to an end, and once again we return to Jabberwock Island. The size of our group has definitely diminished, but despite that, even if it was just the rest of us, we did our very best to stay upbeat and have fun together. Of course, our optimism was only superficial, but at that moment we were able to forget about the dark despair looming before us. However, the only thing I was worried about was him. He wasn't there. He suddenly disappeared from our sight? Who? Who was- Oh, Nagatu! <laughs> yep, I'm definitely lucky. I never expected to obtain so valuable things from a simple game of Russian Roulette. He has too much information, oh my god. <laughs> Thanks that I was able to learn the identity of our true enemy and before everyone else is t ever- What? But it's just funny, I mean, no one could tell I that I was lying. I don't know, <laughs> I could. There's no way the fight just had Hajime's information. Well, I guess they were too busy with, with other matters. Or maybe they've reached their limits. Regardless, I was saved. Things would get complicated if they found out. <sighs> anyway, I can't forgive this. This should never be forgiven. There's no way I can let this run loose. I'll be the one who stops this once and for all. Oh, even if it costs me a life. For the sake of hope, I cannot ignore this. Really? For the sake of hope? My Akuma appears! Wait, what? Someone, someone summoned you? Oh. Oh. Thanks for coming. What's this? It's just, it's the lonely little Nagito. Are you all alone tonight? What's Who? the matter? So what's up? Your face looks scary. <sighs> I see, so you can tell. Hmm? Uh, perhaps you found out the traitor is? <laughs> you know me well. well. It's what I like to say, but unfortunately I haven't learned that yet. Hmm. I see, so even you don't know, huh? Looks like the final showdown is going to take a little more time. Hello. So why just summon me anyway? Well, you're finally going to confess your love? Hey. I summoned you because there's something I really need to ask you. It's about the special prize from the final dead room. Hmm? What about it? <clears throat> there's information about 16 people in the file I received. But isn't that weird? Say what? What's well, weird? Well, there's a traitor from the Future Foundation hiding among us, right? Including that person. The total number of students would be 16, right? Isn't that right? But this file contains documents that were created at Host Peak Academy, of right? Course. I just reused that stuff. Refused. Uh, reused that stuff. The former headmaster spent a lot of time but. making. If this file even contains information about the traitor, was that person also former students of Host Peak Academy? Who knows? I wonder. Hey. Could it be? <laughs> Is this your doing? Did you slip false information to the file? Were you trying to keep us from learning the traitor's identity by obtaining this information? Hmm? What's wrong with that? If it's my job to heat things up. It's okay if I do something small like that, right? Well... That's not my point. Right? My point is that you already know the truth the traitor is. Hmm? What's wrong with that? You're getting all Well, you're splendidly up. correct when, uh, when you say, I knew who the traitor was all along, but even though I knew who it was, why do you think I ignored it on purpose? <laughs> It's just like Monomi after losing your magic. Oh, Usabi after losing your magic stick. The traitor existence means absolutely nothing to me. <laughs> Their existence means nothing, huh? No, no. Well, that's just how I feel. I'm sure you guys feel somewhat different. <laughs> after all, the person is the evil future foundation lackey who's putting you guys through this awful stuff. <sighs> that's not entirely true. I didn't really come here to fight or anything like that. <laughs> I said I came here to offer my cooperation. You know huh? what? Hey. Your purpose is to fill everyone in the asylum with despair, right? That's why your intention of letting the traitor do as he please, right? Yep. Yep, yep. I... If that's the case, I might be able to cooperate somewhat too. Right. However, in exchange, I want to know who the traitor is. Mm. I see. Inter this is... Of course, this is something that Nagito would do. No, no, no. Obviously, that's a big no-no. I mean, I want to make everyone in your group feel despair. That includes you too. Well, well I knew you would say that. Mm. Besides, I just wanted to handle the sadness when you inevitably betray me later on. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I thought you saw right through me. You're right. No matter the situation I find myself, my core is always think. Uh, my core way of always thinking will never change. In order to create absolute hope that shines, shines brightly, uh, step ladders such as myself and despair exist. <laughs> you're right. You're a true believer of hope, after all. 
I must say, the belief reminds me of that person for some reason. That person? Huh? Reminds you? <laughs> I know you're talking about if someone as worthless as me reminds you of other, you know, some other person, then they must be extremely unlucky. Lie. But you're just as unlucky, right? I mean, the fact that you're even involved in something like this. Whoa. Am I? Actually, I just think I'm very lucky. Hey, you don't know. When you say they're coming across this much despair is rather rare opportunity. That person. We said before that we think it's Makoto when he says that person, right? Because Makoto had that speech about hope at the end as well, I think, right? I can't rely on anyone on this island. That means he would know Makoto. That's why you have to be the one who does it. If I can limit despair from this island, I won't be a step ladder anymore. I'll become true hope. I'll become an existence that can even be called ultimate hope. <laughs> You two are like, you definitely remind me of him. So yeah, saying you're definitely like Makoto, but like, I don't agree. I agree, like, no, I don't agree at all, actually. I like, I guess the speech about hope at the end of the last game. Hey. There's one more thing I want to ask you. Mm -hmm. See? Who are you waiting for on this island? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Looks like I'm right again. You're definitely waiting for someone on this island. Is the person waiting for her already on this island? Hey. Well, answer my question. Uh, that's... If that's the case, if that person's already on the island, <laughs> wouldn't it be exciting? Someone else is on the island? Someone else is on the island? Here we go. We have... Five days left. Is this still who we're waiting for, maybe? Or who he's waiting for? I'll do Ultimate Robot Stream of Clockwork, that's the end of this chapter. Yeah. We beat chapter four. Probably one of the like longest chapter. Here we go. Knock it down. We have quite a few characters left though. A lot of characters, like, I'm really glad they're still here, but some characters where I'm kinda like, oh no. I didn't expect them to be there. Hellhound's earring. Oh my god. The earring from the was it the earring that he lost or was it a it was a ring, wasn't it? It was a ring. Wait, we still have chapter cast trial one save files? Look at Teru Teru! <laughs> there you go. After being released from the funhouse, we went back to living our less than ordinary lives. I don't think, yeah, I don't think it's yet. Yeah, it would call them ordinary. And just like before, our uh, day began with all of us gathering at the restaurant. Jeez. Damn right. You know, every time we meet up here, it makes me realize just how crazy this whole, whole situation is. Um. The restaurant certainly feels more spacious than before. Of course it feels spacious. There are less than half of us here now that we're at the beginning. Stupid fool. What in the world is that? Oh my. Did you hear? Yes, I heard something. Hey. That was Nekamaru's voice? Huh? What are you talking about? He's no longer... What's up? What? What do you mean? I'll keep... Wait, what do you do? <laughs> That's not cool. I was up and I working on my fingers to the bone. What do you concerned. mean? I'm starting to get tired of the seasonings in this restaurant. Jeez. See, I'm starting to realize how valuable Terra Terra was. No, he wasn't valuable. He was a predator. <laughs> Don't even worry. I'm trying to talk to you about something important. Listen to Soda. Listen to my boy. <laughs> important? All right. No way. It took me all night to make it. Why? What is that? A Nekamaru doll? No, I'm Minimaru. Minimaru? Huh? Minimaru? It took some hard time to make it. What do you think? Awesome quality, right? <laughs> of course, it's not free will or anything, so it's more like you know a toy. But isn't it freaking adorable? You oh, thanks. it's so cute. Thanks, I will keep it. Look at Soda doing something so nice. I never said it. Wait, what? No, you give it away, Soda. Don't be so stuck up. Your stuff is my stuff, right? No, oh, hey now, that's bully's logic. <laughs> Well, it doesn't matter. I made this to cheer you guys up anyway. Mm. Akane seems like she would be a bully in school. As long as we have, we won't forget, you know, about Nekamaro's sacrifice for us. We're standing here today because of him. So if we're gonna prevent something like that from ever happening again, I guess we gotta fight too, right? You can't just keep running away. Huh. I gotta admit, never thought I'd hear you say that. Something that awesome. <laughs> of course. Um, in the end, Gundam told us to never give up on life. I... So I will never give up. I shall fight until the very end. <laughs> Gundam, please watch over me. Miss Sonia? Miss Sonia, what did you think of my little pep talk? Oh my. Did you say Oh my god, did you say something? Are you kidding me? I was up all night memorizing that speech. Jeez. And there's the punchline. <laughs> I really like this. Thanks, Kajuichi. I am Minimaru. Man. I'm only half as happy to be thanked by you. That's right. Oh, by the way, you can also use that ma massage 
your sore muscles and pressure points. Are you serious? Are you serious? That's amazing. Of course. Of course, I mean it after all. <laughs> Seriously, thanks. I'll take good care of it. Akane looks really happy. That's hey, nice. Hey. And then what happened to Nagito? I haven't seen him like I usually do. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that guy. He goes solo all the freaking time. Well. But still, I'm a little worried about how he was acting during the cl last class trial. Same. Well, he's always been dangerous, a dangerous bastard. But he's crossed the line, you know, damn right. Hey, hey. Then that's even more reason we should avoid him. But still. But even if we do avoid him, what are you going to do if he approaches us? Nagito's uh, certain sudden change was uh, really weird. I wonder did he figure something out that we're not aware of. Anyway, Hajime, isn't it about time you told us what this, that was all about? Huh, that? Hm. You know, what Nagito said during the trial. Oh, my thing. You're telling me that G's get together is supposed to be the symbols of hope, aren't you? I forgot, except for Hajime, of course. Yeah, because I'm, I'm a reserve student. Hey, bastard. What do you mean by except for Hajime? Hmm? Are you really the traitor after all? No, it's not like that. I didn't want to say, but I guess I have no choice. To tell you guys the truth, unlike the rest of you, well, apparently I was never part of Holt Speed Academy's primary department. I'm a reserve course student from the reserve department. Huh? Reserve department? It means, unlike you guys, I don't have an ultimate talent at all. Apparently, I'm just a normal person. Is that all? Uh. Oh, look at the little braid. I always forget it has this lovely little braid. That's it? Dude, don't ever scare me like that. It's not something I can just brush off, especially since it's about me. I thought I just forgot. I thought I got into Hotspeed Academy because I had talent all along, but shit. My whole life, I just waited to feel confident about myself, and I thought getting into Hotspeed Academy meant I'd finally become someone I could be proud of. Not some fucking backup student. Oh, wow. Right? Cheer up, Hajime. It doesn't matter if you're from the reserve department. Of course. She's right. No matter what you are, you are a friend. You know, there's a saying in Japan. Listen. Fear is grateful for the danger. Hey. Ellie, you're saying that all wrong. <laughs> Huff Puffies. So, everyone, I was here. <laughs> It was a real close battle. Oh, she not locked on her island. Thanks, Sasami. Apologize, I was trying to cheer you up, but I ended up saying the wrong thing. <laughs> well, it doesn't matter. Stuff is just hard to say sometimes. Huh? huh? I love what she says, huh? Huh? That's weird. Maybe you can't see me? Huh? Well, what the heck? You're covered in blood. Hmm? Oh, you saw me. Yes, that's right. The mana beast this time was very strong. You? Gross. Don't get close to me. Get out of here. Oh, my God. No, gratitude. I'm being treated like filth. Hey, hey. Why don't you clean, off the, clean that blood off? We're trying to eat. <laughs> Yes, I'm ashamed of myself. Jesus Christ. Okay, even I think that's a bit mean. There we go. Now then, allow me to report you to uh, report you all once again. After a fierce battle that's never been seen in history, I finally succeeded in conquering the last mono beast. The last mono beast. Because this is finally possible for you to travel to the final island. Uh, I see. What a thin reaction. It's like I'm surrounded by tons of shabu shabu from all you can eat restaurant. Um, Don't tell me this again. Uh, you're going to still say stuff like it's not like we can get on off this island. Why bother going to the new island? Well, it's true. I don't really expect much. But who said we weren't going to go? Obviously, we're going to go, dumbass. Eh? Eh? So. I assume we're thinking about running away was a mistake. Because if you can't run, we'll fight. Yeah, they have all that energy from Gundam and uh, Mechamaro in them. I'll crush anyone, everyone who puts, through the, puts us through this crap in one blow. Hey, hey. Fight? Seriously, that fearsome in a group is called the World Ender for a reason, you know? What are you saying? Why? You, did you forget what you said earlier? Hey, hey, hey. Dumbass, I only said it because I was trying to impress Miss Sonya. What? Don't brag about that. <laughs> Don't brag about being a shimp, my boy. Settle down. If you have the power to fight anyone uh, among, among yourself, then direct that power toward our enemy. Right. Now then, let's go forth. Offense is the best defense. Damn right. Damn right. You're right. Now's not the time for us to be bickering. Hmm. I don't really get it, but when Miss Sonya talks like that, my blood starts to boil. All right. All right. I'm getting pumped up. Let's change our way. Uh, let's change our charge our way to the new island. The Future Foundation, Monokuma, no Usami. I'll crush them all at once. Yes. Even me? Especially you, Asami. Especially you. <laughs> you guys seem reliable. Hey, don't talk like you're not included. You're our friend too, you know. Mm. You're right. Leave it to the me. music? Then I gotta do my best, too. As we left the restaurants, our expressions on our faces were clearly different than they were before. They were filled with strong uh, will and determination. But the clouds of my heart still lingered. Yeah. 
I couldn't stop thinking about the reserve department. And that filled me with a strange, uncomfortable feeling like a small bone was lodged in my throat. But I tried not to think about it. I tried to stay focused on moving forward. Whoa, look at this, such a contrast. Smile at the hope, at hope in the name of despair. 